Hey guys, um, so my husband took the kids and the house is quiet and I was able to clean so that was nice. But um, this week was a really good week. Um, last week was just, uh, was terrible. <laughs> um, between uh, company visiting and Easter, um, I just, I didn't track and everything was just, um, you know, out of routine. I didn't work out like I should. Um, and I gained last week, so I didn't film. I don't even know if anyone noticed. Um, does anyone even watch these videos? <laughs> um, so, but this week, um, I lost 2.2 pounds. So I kind of made up for last week. Uh, let's see, total weight loss is 16.4 pounds. Uh, this is week 14 for me. So that's, you know, it breaks down to a little over a pound a week. And I reached my 10% this week, so woohoo! My 10% was only 15 pounds, so I surpassed that. Um, and uh, I was able to celebrate that in my meeting today. And, um, you know, she asked, so, you know, everyone wants to know, how did you make your 10%? Um, and, you know, basically it comes down to hard work, and um, I just, again, I know I'm making everyone tired of hearing this, but the weightlifting has just uh, really revolutionized the way I think about exercise and um, building muscle because um, there's a difference between wanting to lose weight and wanting to lose fat. Um, and you don't want to necessarily lose all weight because, you know, you've got, you've got muscles in there, you've got organs. So weight is not a bad thing. What's bad is too much fat. Um, and you have to be careful that you are just losing fat when you're losing weight. And I, I truly believe the only way to do that is to uh, be intentional about um, building your muscles while you're losing weight. Um, <clears throat> or else your body will just prey on your muscles um, if you're not, you know, if you're decreasing your calorie amount. Um, you also need to aim to eat a protein with every meal um, and snack. Um, Carrots are not a good snack. <laughs> I mean, if you want to have them, you need to have like an egg or a tablespoon of peanut butter or some, you know, Greek yogurt with it or something. Uh, but carrots are not going to keep you full. Um, let's see. I even, um, I even had like, I love egg beaters. You can have a half a cup for one point. And, um, I have those for dinner sometimes. It's a really good rich protein source and it's low points. So, let's see. Um, also, the other thing uh, that helps me is um, the morning after I wake up from being having a really good day on plan, I actually feel uh, thinner. Like, um, my pooch doesn't feel as big. And um, I just feel good about the day prior versus if I'm not on plan, um, I wake up just kind of bloated and like nothing has changed positively. Um, so I guess for me, that's it's kind of a snowball effect. Um, the better I do, the more clothes I can fit into, um, the easier being on plan is. Um, I feel like it starts out as this little snowball and you're just kind of like, oh, I don't know if this works, I'm making these changes and nothing's happening. But then you start to see that, oh, okay, the scale is continually going down. Um, and like this past week, I pulled out a bunch of uh, small jeans that I didn't think I'd be able to get into. And I was able to zip up all of them. So that was awesome. Um, I've also actually, I measured myself like a month ago. Um, and I measured myself a couple nights ago, so there was like four or five weeks in between there. And I actually lost like three inches off of my waist. Um, not so much everywhere else, but I really think that my body composition is changing. Um, I think I am gaining some muscle and definitely melting some fat. So that's not necessarily re reflected on the scale every week. Um, but I am feeling stronger. I mean, I, you know, raising four kids, I need muscle to do this job. And um, I feel like I'm able to do it pretty well um, from working out. It just keeps me in shape. Um, also, one of, the, one of the kind of bad habits that I've 
pretty much broken is just having dessert, just feeling like I need dessert after lunch and dinner. Uh, I was telling the class that I, I read The Power of Habit, and that was a really, really good book. Um, it just looks at um, what what triggers a bad habit, and then what like kind of pleasure do you get from that bad habit. So you can't change the trigger. I can't change eating lunch. I can't change eating dinner. Um, and I can't change what I need to get from that bad habit, um, that pleasure. Um, but I can change the thing in the middle. I can change the actual habit. So for me, you know, the habit was um, dessert and just, and you know, the pleasure that I get from just eating chocolate cake or whatever. Um, and so, first off, I just, I cannot have it in the house. Um, if I know it's here, I will find it. So I just try to set up my environment for success. Um, and I, I realize that what I'm looking for when I reach for that chocolate is it's nap time, the kids have laid down, so I deserve to treat myself and have something, you know, luxurious. So, you know, what are some other things that I could do that are kind of, you know, treating myself um, and that still give me, like, that pleasure, um, <clears throat> but they're not bad for me, okay? Um, and I found that I just either needed to just go take a nap right after lunch, um, or something else I've done is just, um, I just look, I just sit down and watch uh, YouTube videos, um, and that feels pretty luxurious. Some people might like to sit down and just watch TV for a little bit, um, but I really enjoy watching, like, um, health stuff on YouTube, so that I'm learning, but I also feel, you know, it's kind of a guilty pleasure that I get to enjoy that's actually good for me. Um, and I'm inspired. So, what is the bad habit that you have? Um, what, what triggers it? Um, and, uh, what can you, what do you get from that bad habit? And, what can you replace it with? Um, that's all I got. See you guys next week. Um, check out this profile. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm slimming down. I'm telling you, weightlifting and Weight Watchers, it, uh, it works. Alright, bye.